Now, I was just going to do a one quick chat on some tokeny bits and pieces because, yeah, there's a few um, DLCs in the game right now which are kind of hidden amongst a load of other kind of nonsensey ones. And I was just going to point them out just in case anyone had missed them. As well as that, answer one question that a few people mentioned in the comments um, previously whenever I go near this event as to weekly competition. And the question being in it, uh, yeah, why is there tokens here in my version of this contest as opposed to, um, yeah, packs of blueprints in there? And yeah, this weekly competition is just judged by the actual garage level of the player. So up to a certain level, I think is at level 15, this um, contest is just blueprints inside here and import parts and some credits. And once you get past a certain garage level, like I said, I'm not 100% sure on the garage level. But I think it's 15. But yeah, this changes over to be a weekly competition for uh, tokens. Now it's kind of sucky. Not only does that mean the fact that lower level players are not competing for tokens, but also it means that there is a way, 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 way less tokens uh, being fought for because of the fact that like when you shrink down this top bracket to be like only say players level 16 17 and 18 as it would be now that means that only like a tiny percentage of the actual player base is in this leaderboard and obviously when you shrink down the player base for any leaderboard yeah like you see my uh, not that great but so position 500 time is not in the top one percent because obviously there is less players than there had been previously so like to get that top one percent time it's like it's a top one percent of the top like percentage of racers who are levels um 16 17 and 18 yeah i just had to point it out because like yeah people did mention in one or two videos before wait tokens for the competition Ye, that's down to garage level so when you're leveling up your cars and getting your garage levels up look forward to at a point your weekly competition will change over to this more difficult but obviously far more rewarding one since it gives the uh, premium currency instead of just the uh, blueprints and credits but the dlc packs that i was talking about then inside in the store because yeah there was quite a lot of different packs added to this so like you have some of these are actually sort of decent in various different ways but one of the ones which is pretty class if you haven't noticed is the 4th of July currencies flash sale 95% 1.99 and what's inside there is yeah 900 tokens and a quarter of a million credits but yeah if you are going to buy tokens in game like these 95% and 99% usually the deals which cost say one or two euro and they reward somewhere in the region of 750 tokens because it has happened previously where a deal has gone into the store and it said 99% off and then it's been like adjusted to be, oh, that's actually 80% off or something. So do make sure and obviously check it. But around a euro or so for 750 tokens, that is kind of the best way you can possibly get tokens. So there is two of these in the store right now. And yeah, I'm definitely going to pick this one up, skip the store. And yeah, that's. 900 tokens like i said it's as cheap effectively as tokens do get in the game and yeah i don't really have any issues with the microtransactions which are really low like that now the other one which is actually cool is yeah i pan past it here and i'm gonna get the ultimate relay here the first part of that for 189 and also the ultimate relay uh, part one in relay one and yeah so if you take a look at this again you've got 750 tokens one eight of a million credits and five of those ultimate lamborghini packs now these ones are pretty much the only ultimate lambo packs i'm going to be getting outside of the 450 uh, tokens pack and yeah it is just a case of these packs are effectively half price and i need benino blueprints from them the only thing is like yeah that's incredibly risky because of the fact that um yeah the benino is the only thing i need for yeah like this is another one of those deals where you're getting like 750 tokens and it for two euros so like the token packs on this one are just a bit of a boost except for the fact that like i said if this has anything like egoista 
or the other Lamborghinis inside it, that's going to be like a risky-ish one for myself. 750 tokens and yeah, 125k. And this is one of the only times where I'm going to be uh, then putting those tokens back immediately into this because I am going to also get the first portion of this, which is another one eight of a million for 450 tokens and 10 of those Lamborghini experience packs. Now, like I said, those packs for me are risky in terms of the actual possibility here of getting um, a jackpot on a car which I would have maxed. That would suck, something rotten, but the uh, Benino potential inside there is sort of cool enough if it was to happen. Also because of the fact, again, like I've got that trade uh, coin bonus on these. So getting trade coins isn't exactly the worst thing in the world right now for me. 160% across all of it. So even though, ah, Terzo and a few Benino at the end, that's not too bad. But like, yeah, that's that car as pretty tuned as I'm going to do with it. But still, so that's 450 tokens for, yeah, nearly a thousand trade coins there. And yeah, one eight of a million credits. I'm not going to be able to get to that next star with this. So yeah, for stage 10 here in this event, perform 360s. I haven't actually done this yet because I was just leaving it off until I got the... Um, yeah, saw where the kind of um, Benino ended up. But yeah, this one's going to end up at four stars. And yeah, so what else did I need? Yeah, performing 360s. I've just been doing that in touch drive with this because I did want to just wait and see what I get the next um, star upgrade from that. But it would have taken maybe a jackpot or two in there. Um, but yeah, let's see. Scotland's Lighthouse Strange. Yeah, this one's really easy. Like I said, I've just been running this in touch drive and doing those 360s but i've been deliberately throwing it off the edge at the start just so that it doesn't complete the time because i wanted to complete this as a yeah portion of a video and nail those blueprints that way five 360s on this track is actually sort of easy it's not too bad at all over here left hand side and you get another 360 ramp at the very end so that there's five already clocked up open drift through tunnel and yeah punch it towards the barrel ramp on the inside but i'm sure if anyone's got the benino they've probably noticed the fact that like at uh, this stage really like the tuning here isn't even going to be a bother the fact that i'm missing quite a lot of tune up in this car i did just pretty much leave it at not much further into the third star when i got that fourth star upgrade just because of the fact that yeah like it's a really nice car, but at the same time, if I don't need to buy upgrades for stuff, I generally tend to avoid them. And yeah, that's as far as those um, stars will take me through this one. Like obviously these 33.5 time and the 33 times. So yeah, that does show that that six star time is also possible in the four star version of the car. And there's, yeah, some more cyan, bringing it up to 10 out of 25. So I'm missing 15 more for that and another 20 tokens back. Pretty cool. I did say fourth star version of that car, by the way. But yeah, obviously this thing is still missing uh, the top speed, handling, and some of the nitro tuning. So it will say three and a half stars is capable of doing that uh, four star or, well, six star time even. So I need 31 conditions to get to 300. Stage with one star only actually gives you the, uh, yeah, 15 inside there, which would bring you up to needing 16 more. And then the thing is though, if you get the cards two stars, stage 13 has got 17 conditions inside. And yeah, that is going to be the way that people will, for the most part, need to get it into the contest at the end of this. Yeah, realistically, there is only one path to getting the contest unlocked. And that is by um, having the cyan at two stars. Because otherwise, there just is no other way of clearing out the rest of this event to get them. Even if you were to go and do the ultimate Lamborghini packs, 
the uh, end here of the Benino is only four conditions. So realistically, that contest is going to have, um, yeah, only people who have an absolutely elite carriage sorted out and have bothered to get the Scion up to two stars. So that is going to be, like I said, a very, very small bracket in my opinion. Now, but looking at the only other blueprints that I can get from this event then, say here in stage 11, you've got four other potential blueprints to be picked up, which will bring this up to 15 out of 25 stars. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is just spend some tokens into this car now. And yeah, if it pretty much gets up to the point where I'm like two to four blueprints away from the star up, if I just like, just shoot past there i can obviously um yeah i'll have that next star for the scion and i can start putting the upgrades into that one then immediately because the sign is going to be needed at two stars fully tuned because all those stages coming up are going to have a rating requirement on top of having the star requirement as well but yeah hopefully this will just take a one or two shots of 750 tokens because like I said, it's going to reward me back a million credits from the getting access to the contest at the end, at the very least. And 100 tokens back, which isn't exactly fantastic. But at the same time, uh, yeah, it does also obviously provide me with the uh, second star to the rather powerful Cyan car. Oh, that is a lot of epics, but like not a lot of what I'm after from this. Koenigsegg Regera, McLaren P1. Uh, I think most people have a couple of extra blueprints for that. More Regera, Hussaria, very nice set of packs. If not for the fact that, like I said, the stuff I want isn't in there. 528 uh, trade coins, that's pretty cool. Buy one, get one free. Why the F not? <laughs> oh, Agenti, well, what? <laughs> that's an unusual thing. 75 tokens for Agenti blueprint. Yeah, they're yeah. That's that's a not bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain too much. Usually with the thing in this, I'm well aware of the fact that like the mechanics in this game are of a gambling nature. But at the same time, like when you go into stuff knowing that and like having enough that you can basically like weather the storm of some very very bad luck. What in the heck? Oh, more P1, brilliant need the jackpot of 41,000 P1 um, to pay out and another 10 pack with just three blueprints oh that's not helping <laughs> so 2000 uh, what is it 2250 uh, tokens in that case to get this one close enough to star up ready if I was to get a couple of blueprints this said what the heck yeah this is why i'm usually saying like oh, all those epics for absolutely trash <laughs> but yeah this is why i'm always kind of saying is like never ever ever rely on luck because like that's tree for tree 750 packs with absolutely yeah duff look now the next one well, <laughs> sure why not but yeah, the next one will definitely um, bring me up to the point where with the guaranteed um, set of uh, blueprints from there, it'll bring me up to the point with the ones from the Legend Pass will unlock this uh, next star. So if I, yeah, this is guaranteed to be my last star up here, or last 10 pack here. More Regera. What the heck at the amount of... Uh, epics but like yeah it's just absolutely all obviously getting mulched into trade coins and wow i'm actually surprised that that's even <laughs> just enough Ooh, those cyan packs were a not 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 friendly to me in the slightest 3856 max rating mm. that's okay it's not bad. Oh, I say the fact that it's like 100 tokens back. That's going to be a total payback of uh, 100 tokens. And I think is it 500 tokens as well then from stage 13. But at least I'll be coming out of this event with at least a two star versus. I think was it something like 37 blueprints for the next um, 
star up and yeah given those look that i just had um 37 blueprints for that could cost somewhere in the region of like seven thousand five hundred because whoa those things were not really forthcoming with the tokens speaking of decent stuff in the shop been between recording the initial video and this editing it and uploading it i've been really busy the last couple of days my apologies for the lack of videos but uh yeah there's actually been one or two extra really cool things in the shop uh, especially if you need a lot of things from both of these bursts of speed but yeah all right so this is cool and some of it is awful but yeah these first two 450 tokens for a effectively 10 pack of the burst of speed packs now these are a 10 pack but it's missing its guaranteed blueprint but at the same time there's 300 tokens off for the packs but like they're still at a 20 percent drop chance so i would really 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 kind of consider that to be really good i'm gonna get one of the the other side of this the senate the rest of these though are awful like i have no idea what's the story here with the value of these so this would be a 10 pack except it's 300 tokens less these things though it's like five carrera gt blueprints and 300k uh credits but for 500 tokens more than a 10 pack so so you effectively get like a 10 pack and two thirds of another 10 pack but you get five carrera gt blueprints and it's the same way with all of these they're all five blueprints for the featured car in there and like even if you had some of the worst look ever, you're probably like, you're likely to get um, eight blueprints for any of the featured cars. And then at the end, you've got 15 blueprints for 9,000 tokens. Like 9,000 tokens is gonna get you about what, 12, 10 packs of the other things. Like 12, 10 packs with a 20% drop chance with like a guaranteed one featured item per. Even if you just got 12 of the featured item and nothing else through the entire rest of that, you'd have 48 blueprints. <laughs> it's nuts. And that would be like also getting about 110 packs, which are random with a 20% drop chance and getting zero. <laughs> so yeah. Like the first one of these, great. The second two of these are just like, whoa, what's going on there? And the last one is just like, I don't know, someone started something or so. It's just crazy. I think, to be fair, I think these were put together actually on, I've seen somebody literally almost verbatim request this sort of a deal. Hey, can I have a 10 pack possibly for 450 tokens? So there is a chance that this was slapped together quickly enough. And like these first part, if that is the case of where these came from, that is fantastic. Cause that's really lovely that somebody asks for something and you put it in. But the other things that are in these are just insane. Again, 9,000 tokens for 15 Senna blueprints. Quick math there, like <laughs> really, really quick math. Uh, 9,000 tokens is enough to get you 12, 10 packs. 12 10 packs with a 20% drop rate. Given the fact that you get four blueprints every time you hit a featured car in those 12 packs should on average across them giving you 20% drop rates, even though it's slightly higher, would be 96 blueprints. If you had a perfect cut down the middle three way between the Senna Avija and the other car that's inside there, Genti, yeah, that would be 32 blueprints per. But if you do get this, that means that you are effectively costing yourself 17 blueprints for the Senna, um, 32 blueprints for the Avija, and 32 blueprints for the Genti by going with this offer. <laughs> Yeah, I did say the fact that like this first portion on both sides of these is cool enough. Now, even though I do have the Senna at six stars, I'm still gonna chuck this at it. Because yeah, I do actually have that trade coin bonus and it's not too bad a price for a bunch of trade coins. I hope not to see Senna inside in this. That would really, really bite. But, um, ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> did not say that. <laughs> Uh, some genty, that's not too bad. Four genty blueprints for 450 tokens. Like, just even to put that in perspective, 
next to the other offers say like yeah this is 450 tokens and i end up getting because the percentage on these is so high end up getting three featured things 450 tokens for four genty blueprints eh, that's not too bad and let's see what do i get as well for that it is 960 actual trade coins but that got me eight senna blueprints and four genty for 450 mo tokens now for just three times that i could get five genty blueprints and no senna so yeah that's why i'm saying that these second and third ones are really bad and the fourth one is just like insane <laughs> like how bad a deal that is but yeah i would definitely uh, recommend people give a look at these if you've got 900 tokens and you need cars out of both sides of these definitely hit up the first two portions of that rene for sure okay guys if you like these videos there is a sub button up there over my head uh other videos for me here and here but yeah if you like these videos please do uh consider giving those a click and otherwise yeah guys good luck and happy hunting for some blueprints and uh something to spend tokens on